my dear hamburgers welcome to the beginning of season three of our hamburg career mode i am extremely excited for season three to start and if you're just joining us now that is okay because it's the start of a new season and the only thing that you need to know is that hamburg us we will be playing in the champions league this season so yeah hamburg is going to be playing in the champions league now who are we going to face in the champions league what group we're going to have we're going to find that out hopefully today but how are we going to play in the champions league and how we're going to perform um i don't know i'm just happy that we're participating to be honest with you so i think the first thing that we need to do guys as we always do at the beginning of every single season is go through our squad we need to find out who's playing where which players are going to be leaving which players are staying and where we need to strengthen we're going to be playing in the champions league and we need to have our squad right starting in the goalkeeper position and we have three goalkeepers at the club one being andre lunin he's 80 overall now at 26 years old he's our starter he was brilliant last year he won the golden glove last year if you were here for season two and then the other two goalkeepers we have mateo rab who 72 overall and 26 years old he was our backup last season but now we also got Musa Fati who was one of our youth prospects he was out on loan last season and he came back from loan and he's 71 rated so I think it is time for Mateo Rab to depart he's transfer listed and Musa Fati is going to be the backup in our left back position I think we're fine but Adaric is doing a fantastic job Muheim also can come in and do the job he's 71 overall 27 years old I think he's quality enough as a backup and unfortunately Ben Anderson who came back he's still 62 rated at 22 years old he's going to be transfer listed in our center back position we have some quality but we can also i think use an extra center back we have daniele rugani who's 76 overall he's not going anywhere our main man jonathan ta 83 overall at 29 years old in the prime of his career he's definitely not going anywhere we have hatsi kadunic dennis hatsi kadunic 26 years old 77 rated so we have three good center backs but then we also have 74 rated sebastian shanlau 30 years old i put him on the transfer list i think it's time to go and be replaced by a better center back we also have Jonas David 25 years old 72 overall maybe he can stay at the club and be like that fifth string center back uh just in case if someone gets injured and then we also have Valon Zumbedi 22 years old from Kosovo 64 overall transfer listed he's just not good enough so I think we're definitely going to be looking for a center back in this transfer window which means give me your transfer suggestions for a center back when it comes to our right backs we actually have way too many right backs at the club now with a couple of low knees coming back Joshua Noman 24 years old 79 rated he will be our starter he was our starter last season. That is not going to change. Then we have also Adis Yasic, 22 years old from Austria, 73 overall. He can play right back. He can play as a right wing back. He can also play in the central midfield. He's definitely not going anywhere. Uh, we're going to be playing in the Champions League. We need to have players like this at the club, versatile players. I think Adis Yasic is also going to be the backup right back. And then we have players like William Mikkelbrancis. He's 70 overall, 21 years old. I think I'm going to loan him out for one more year. Uh, he shows a little bit of promise, so I don't want to just sell him, but I don't think he's good enough to, 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 to play week in and week out here. I don't think he is. Unfortunately, Nicholas Burn Oliveira, he came back from loan. He didn't grow that much. He's uh, 21 years old, 64 overall. He's going to be transfer listed. And then we also got this guy, Robin Sanders, another youth prospect. He's 17 uh, years old, 69 overall. You guys remember him? We scouted him last year. He's an exciting prospect. That means he has a lot of good potential. Can play right back, can play center back. I don't know what to do with him. If you guys can let me know what to do with him in the comments, I would really appreciate it. I just don't know. Do we loan him out do we keep him at the club if we keep him at the club he's not gonna play a lot that's the problem and now we get to the central midfield and central defensive midfield we have three central defensive midfielders at the club one being Jonas Meffert 30 years old 74 overall Pavel Bucha he started pretty much every game last season for us and he was very very good in that central defensive midfield 78 overall now 27 years old in the prime of his career he's not going anywhere and then we have Elijah Kron that came back from loan he didn't grow too much uh, I thought he would do grow a little bit better but I'm gonna loan him out just in case maybe for one more year maybe he can he can kind of come back as like a 72 or 73 overall player for next season but i definitely think we should have an upgrade in the central defensive midfield position like i said playing in the champions league i don't know if Jonas Meffert is good enough to play there even as a backup i think we need to have pavel bucha as a backup and bring in a really quality central midfielder to start our attack in midfield is definitely not going to change i don't think we need to bring anyone in for this position we have laszlo benis 27 years old 74 overall very good versatile player Ludo of it rice 25 years old 80 overall just an incredible player Ianis Haji the spaceman he scores bangers 76 overall 26 years old definitely not going anywhere and then of course we have Emmanuel Fedai he's 79 overall 24 years old I think our attack in midfield is pretty good and we do have a lot of wingers at the club as well now Nicholas Pepe he's 30 years old now he's kind of getting on but I don't think Nicholas Pepe is going anywhere after that season he had last year for us he was very good probably our best player last year so he's definitely staying 
soul back in ola soul back in he's only 26 and 77 uh rated i don't think he's going anywhere either jean-luc dampe i think i might move him on guys he's 29 years old 74 overall he's fast but that's about it i'm gonna transfer list him omar mcgeed came back from loan 19 years old 66 overall i think i'm gonna loan him out again to see if he grows a little bit more we also got the youth prospect ronnie meyer left wing right wing 68 overall at 17 years old i think we're gonna also loan him out for a season bakari jata is a hamburg legend and he's definitely not going anywhere this guy's gonna retire here <laughs> or he's gonna be here until this career mode ends okay even though he's only 73 overall 27 years old bakari jata is not going anywhere at all but i think it's time to part ways with ransford yeboa konigsdorfer we tried to give him opportunities guys we know it, ju it just didn't work out I, I don't think konigsdorfer just worked out his contract is expiring in 11 months i don't really want to give him a new contract transfer listed i, th I think we just need to sell him but rooney bargy is definitely staying and so is tong hyun yun he's also staying i'm gonna try and give tong hyun yun some more playing time like i said we're playing in the champions league we have the bundesliga we also have the pakal there's a lot of competitions and i think tong hyun yun can get some decent playing time and finally we get to our strikers well bobby golazzo he's our main man but he's 31 years old now at 77 rated he was really good for us in season one he was pretty good for us last season more assists than goals really he was kind of more of a feeder to nicolas pepe because nicolas pepe scored more goals than uh, bobby golazzo last year i think bobby stays at the club i don't think he's going anywhere but i do think he needs a little bit of competition in that striker position unfortunately with andres nemeth who's our other striker he was the backup for bobby golazzo i don't think he gives him enough competition because andres nemeth is just not good enough you know like we can't start andres nemeth in the champions league we can't have a 71 overall andres nemeth come off the bench in the champions league it just it would be counterproductive because he he, he would get eaten alive against the top competition and then we also got tom sane who's 21 years old but he's only 67 rated i just don't think there's room for him at the club so i'm gonna transfer list him but i definitely think we need to bring in another striker to kind of compete with bobby golazzo and maybe andres nemeth now i don't know what to do with andres nemeth either i don't want to sell him i think he has a future at the club what kind of future i'm not sure maybe we convert him to a cam maybe we convert him to a winger what do you guys think about that idea let me know down in the comments so what is our budget for this upcoming transfer window and i can tell you it is 60 million now it says that i spent 4 million this season because i had to give some players some contract upgrades and whatnot but we have 60 million and i'm a little bit disappointed in the 60 million guys i thought it would be a little bit more we're gonna be playing in the champions league and i thought the board would be a little bit more generous but they aren't because 60 million is a decent amount but it's not like an overwhelming large amount like we can't go out and buy superstars and before you guys start spamming in the comments hey Tsar, please bring back young min son to hamburg he needs to come back to germany he needs to come back and play at hamburg i would love to bring young min son to hamburg back to hamburg we've talked about it for the past three seasons here at hamburg trying to plan when we're gonna bring young min son back to hamburg and i don't think we can still do it because as you can see on your screen he's at sevilla now he's 32 over uh, uh 32 overall 32 years old 85 rated and his market value is 50 million euros so he's basically still worth our entire budget and if we want to upgrade in other positions like we just talked about maybe a backup striker for bobby golazzo maybe another center back maybe a central midfielder we just can't buy hyungmin son we we can't spend our entire budget on one player unless you guys really want me to do that you guys are the board members you guys make the decisions if you really truly want me to try and bring in hyungmin son and then we just kind of roll into the champions league with what we got plus hyungmin son i'll do it if this is what you guys truly want i will do it don't test me i'll do it but i'm pretty sure we all know deep inside our hearts that is not the logical thing to do from a football business perspective from a big brain perspective it's probably better not to bring in Hyung Min Sun right now and focus on other areas where we can strengthen. So what's on the schedule today, guys? Well, besides taking your transfer suggestions, we also have a chance to win a trophy, the Super Cup. It's gonna be us versus Bayern Munich. 1v2 from last season for a cup in the beginning of the season, before the start of the season. And you know what? We beat Bayern Munich last season. We lost to Bayern Munich once, but we also beat them. So maybe we can beat Bayern Munich again and win the Super Cup. Fortunately, guys, Jonas Mefford actually left by himself. Athletic Club Bilbao met his release clause. We didn't even try and sell him Jonas Mefford is actually leaving the club we got uh, actually more than what he's worth he's worth 3.5 million but we got 4.7 million euro for him so I think that's a pretty good deal Jonas Mefford man thank you for your dedication and contribution here we wish you all the best in Spain and Nicholas Bern Oliveira is also leaving us leaving us he's going to Karam Guruk in Turkey we had to sell him guys 1.5 million for Nicholas Bern Oliveira the player market is only 1.3 million I think we got a pretty decent deal all the best Ransford Yeboah Konigsdorfer he is leaving us to Saudi Arabia 
you guys 3.1 million euro for the failed Konigsdorfer from Hamburg here unfortunately he just didn't work out and Sebastian Schonlau is also leaving us he's going to play at Getafe 3.6 million euro thank you for your service here sir we wish you all the best and we had to sell Tom Sane to Rako in Poland 1.8 million euro William Mikkelbrensis has also been loaned out to Kadith for 12 months Omar Magid is going to Ghent for 12 months and Elijah Kron is going to Deportivo Alaves for 12 months and finally Jean-Luc Dampe is leaving us to El Shea for 5.3 million euro on a permanent deal but we got quite a bit of money for him way over market value our third string goalkeeper is also leaving us to Hellas Verona Mateo Rab is gone and Ronnie Meyer is also leaving us for one full season to Real Oviedo for 12 months again just like all our other loanees please come back a little bit of a better player I hope you grow and Bent Anderson is leaving us he is going to Poland to Krakowia for 750,000 euro and finally Valan Zumbedi the Kosovo player he's also leaving us to Konya Sport we got a decent amount for him best of luck man and now with all our players sold and a little bit of business that we've done our budget is 85 million euro can we bring back Hyungmin Sun now what do you guys think you let me know the Champions League groups aren't out just yet so we have to go and play for a cup the Super Cup against Bayern Munich this is their starting lineup it is Harry Kane it is Jamal Musiala Andre and Kimmich in the midfield Anthony and Jisung on the wings Mendes Lawrence Delic Sasha Bowie and Chesney and Nets it's a very strong lineup it is better than our lineup this is the way that we're lining up and we're playing at the Volkspark Stadion we're actually at home for the Super Cup so let's try and win our first trophy of the season let's try and get some silverware it is the Super Cup at the Volkspark Stadion there's Harry Kane there's Jamal Musiala too live from the Volkspark Stadion it's a final a Super Cup final before the season even begins oh boy that's not the way that we want to begin the season that's not that's not the way we want to play guys that's not the way we want to play there we go Bucha intercepts great great job Bobby Golazzo can ugh, lose the ball he's just a little bit slow guys he's getting on in his feet that's the problem he's not very pacey Bobby he's a great clinical finisher but he's not very pacey can we hold off Byron here Yes, we can. Jonathan Ta does excellent in the back. We see Pepe making the run. The 30-year-old Nicolas Pepe. He wants to start the season off fresh. Pepe. Bobby. Bobby. Shot blocked. Stripped of the ball. We had an opportunity. Joshua Kimmich will carry. He's got open space to out wide to Anthony. Anthony. Again, doing that little trickery, man. It's like he does that in real life, too. <laughs> Get him, Jonathan Ta. Get him. Ah, but they're going to foul. Call a foul. All right, for some reason, Kane has taken this free kick. He should be in the box, to be fair. Bobby G gets it out. Lunin punches out. Get it out. Oh, it's Kane doing tricks and turns and sung. Shot right at Lunin. An opportunity for Bayern, but they don't take it either. Oh, my. G Sung does well. Can we get to that ball? Yes, we can. Hatsi Kadunic. Brilliant. Pepe. Come on. Oh, play that go-ahead pass. It had to get through. It doesn't. And now Kane's got an opportunity. Oh, no. It's Anthony. Oh. Ah, guys. 1-0 ah. Bayern. Anthony with the goal. And that is going to be half time. It was basically the last kick of the half. We need to score in the second half. We need to score. Okay. Second half is underway. Maybe we make some changes. Maybe we bring on a few fresh faces. A fresh, some fresh legs. Maybe Tung Hyun Yun. We'll see how the next 15, 20 minutes or so play out here. Jonathan Tommen, he's such a beast. He's an absolute... Well, that's not a foul. It's going to be Kane again over the ball. Kane into the box. Get it out. Van Omen. Pepe, out. Get it out. Verai versus Lawrence, and he outpaces them. Outpaces everybody. He's going to take it himself. Shot, rebound, goal. Yes, equalized, baby. Equalized. An initial good save from Chesney, but the rebound luckily fell Ferai's way right back at his foot. And it's 1-1, and it's game on. Bradaric. Bradaric will carry. Solbakken also carries. Ferai. Ferai. Nicely done. It's Rice. Shot. Ah! Excuse me, sir. Ludovic Rice with a stunner. Come on, baby. That's Spaceman territory right there. That is Iana's Haji territory. Unstoppable. It's 2-1. We gotta go in defense. I might bring on an extra, an extra defender, an extra center back here. Go five in the back. Musiala. Whoa, whoa, Musiala, relax. Brother, relax. Calm down, calm down. No, no. Just that 
unstoppable. That trickery. Like, I, I, Jamal Musiala. Look, look at the stuff that he's pulling off. Ball rolls. Kick flips, all these things, man, man. You should be playing Volta. And we are gonna make changes. We're gonna make several changes. Haji will come on. Yasich will come on. Rooney will come on. Oh my gosh. Back to Mendes. And we are going to extra time. Well, we're not going to extra time, actually, because there's no extra time in the Super Cup. It goes straight to penalties, and Harry Kane scores. I thought it was gonna go to extra time, but it's not. So that's my mistake. Bobby G steps up, buries it. It is Anthony versus Lunin. Oh, it's so close, almost. But Anthony scores 2-1 Bayern. It is Bucha, the experienced central defensive midfielder. Oh my gosh, dude. Pavel Bucha misses it. Kimmich uh, scores. We are one back, one behind. Haji need to score. We need to make a save. Haji. Haji. Haji scores. Ji Sung versus Lunin. Again, wrong way. All right, we need to score this one here. It is Rooney Bargy. Rooney, 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 where are we going? We're going this way. Rooney scores. Okay, Lunin needs to save this, guys. We need to save this. It is Coleman versus Looney. Looney, Lunin. Oh, he's almost got there. Uh, and we lose the Super Cup to Bayern in a really dramatic and disappointing fashion. Bayern Munich win the Super Cup. They start off their season with some silverware. And we start off our season just like we ended our last season last season. And that's in second place. Second best. And unfortunately, the playoff round for the Champions League draw is still not over yet. So we can't even find out who we're playing in the Champions League yet. And we're at the beginning of the season. We have to play our first game in the regular season in the Bundesliga, which we're going to do next episode after i take all your transfer suggestions so it saddens to me for me to say that we're gonna have to wait to find out who we play in the champions league next episode as well my friends thank you for watching i really appreciate it sorry that we couldn't win the super cup but please let me know your transfer suggestions for everything that we've asked that we talked about in this episode i didn't make a single transfer in until i hear the board members suggestions the hamburgers that is you guys you guys are very very important part of this journey i want to make sure that you guys have your say in our next episode we finish off the month of august and the transfer window with all your transfer suggestions and we have two matches as well one at home against bochum one away against red bull leipzig and hopefully we find out who we're playing in the champions league as well so take care of yourselves take care of each other stay happy and stay healthy guys thank you for joining me on this hamburg career mode journey i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next episode probably tomorrow or the next day like i always say keep smiling and i'll see you guys soon peace 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 peace